Hello guys, my name is Armando Lopez from STE Repairs and today we are going to work on an iPhone 7 Plus that is totally dead, ok? ¿Qué tal? Mi nombre es Armando Lopez de STE Repairs y hoy vamos a trabajar en un iPhone 7 Plus que está totalmente muerto. Ok, um, usually, first thing I did, I do most of the time, pretty much like every time I connected to the power supply because I like to see the, the values that I'm getting on the power supply. Prácticamente siempre lo primero que hago es conectar al power supply. Quiero saber los valores que obtengo en el power supply. Based on those numbers is pretty much how I know, you know, the way that I'm going to take to do the repair. Básicamente, ese es el, basado en esos números, me baso para saber dónde voy a ir a la reparación. So, in this case, eh, I just connect and I get a number, so... I know, it's going to, I know uh, what's going to be the problem, but I want to share with you. En este caso, lo conecté al power supply, sé cuál va a ser el problema, y por eso quiero compartirlo con ustedes. Okay. First thing we're going to do, we're going to connect it to the power supply, and you're going to see the value that we are going to get. Okay. One second. No, that's fine. That's nothing. Now, if you see, it goes straight to 1.69 amps. Ok, como ven, va directamente a 1.7 amperes. So, every time that I see something like that, pretty much it's going to be either 1BA or 3B0. Most of the time I have seen this in short on the 1BA, 3B0, actually sometimes on the BB eh, bat, ok. Uh, alguna, eh, este, cada vez que veo un, un, algo así, un comportamiento así, ya sé que va a ser en el VBAT, en el 1.8 o en el 3.0, generalmente de la NAN. So, if you see now, if we try, if we do this and we put it straight to the thermal camera, you can see right away that we are getting the heat is right here. Mm. Wait up in here, right there. So the heat is concentrated around here. Moving, let's do it again. Right here, you can see it right there. Okay, and and the P PMIC, the PMIC, so, but we know that's going to get hot because we have a chart here. So, como ven, en lo que se calienta, estamos aquí al lado de la NAN y el PMIC, pero bueno, el PMIC siempre se va a calentar cuando tenemos un corto de esa magnitud. So, Next thing you do, okay, what you, what you can do if you don't have a thermal camera, you just can use rosin, or you can use alcohol, you can use liquid flux, um, free spray, there's many other things you can use. If you don't have a thermal camera, it doesn't mean you're not going to be able to do the repair. Si no tienes una cámara termal, no significa que usted no va a poder hacer la reparación. Hay muchas cosas, hay rosin, flux líquido, alcohol, eh, aire frisado, okay, muchas otras cosas. Obviamente, si tiene cámara termal va a ser más rápido, pero no es que no puede hacerlo. Ok, as you see here, this is the area, right here. Ok, this component is short to ground. Como pueden ver, ese componente está a tierra iPhone 7 here, okay, is this component. So, when we touch here, we have this component short to ground. Cuando tocamos aquí, nos encontramos que este capacitor está a tierra. So, as you can see here, this is the PP3V09. Como pueden ver, estamos en la línea PP3V09. So, what we're going to do, we're gonna just going to remove that. We're just going to remove that. We're going to remove that capacitor. Let me just change. Tip. We are going to remove this capacitor and then we're just going to see if the short is gone. Vamos a remover el capacitor y después veremos si el corto se va. Same thing. To remove capacitor, I have done videos, many videos before. You can use air, you can use the solder, 
anything near you feel comfortable para remover capacitores ya he hecho otro video y en realidad hay muchas técnicas puedo usar aire como voy a hacer yo ahora puedo usar un soldador la punta del soldador el cautín o la técnica que usted se sienta más más cómodo ok Yeah, that's it. Now we're just going to clean that. We're going to remove the coating because we want to have enough room to put the other capacitor. Vamos a quitar el coating. Okay, so it's ready. That is ready. I'm going to apply flux and we are going to put new solder. Aplicar flux y vamos a poner nueva soldadura. right there so this is ready next thing we're going to do we're going to look for that component okay that component is we have we need to know the value of that component c1719 if we go to the schematic c1719 we can see here this 10.7 microfarads 20 percent tolerance and holds un, up to 6.3 voltage como podemos ver, si vamos al C1719, es de 10 microfarades, tiene una tolerancia de un 20% y aguanta hasta 6.3 voltios. So, pretty much I always take my components from an iPhone 6. Generalmente yo casi todos los componentes los, hago, los cojo de un iPhone 6. Entonces, voy al motherboard, a un el schematic del iPhone 6, pongo 10 microfarades y como pueden ver, este es el que es exactamente igual so pretty much most of my components I get it from the iPhone 6 board and as you guys can see I just type 10 microfarads here and this component is exactly the same as the one that I needed so we are going to grab one we're going to grab one which is one board iPhone 6 and then we're going to look for C0435 vamos a coger un board de iPhone 6 y vamos a buscar ese componente you guys can see here I look for the component and it's right here after the PMIC como ven busque el componente y está después del PMIC so let's this is a donut board ok we're gonna test here where yeah ok so we're just going to remove that and install it on the new on the iPhone 7 Plus vamos a removerlo e instalarlo en el 7 Plus acuérdense este es el donut board por eso ni lo tapamos ni nada so now it's ready just going to cover the nan a little bit Voy a cubrir la nana un poquito y vamos a soldar. Ah, actually, let me test it. We didn't test it. Let me check if the short is gone. Déjeme chequearlo porque en realidad no chequeamos si el corto se fue. Vamos a ver. Ya, yeah, the short is gone. Si sí, el corto se fue, entonces si sí estamos bien. So now we're just going to start this. We're going to start this. Same way you can use solid iron or hot air. You have to make that decision. La misma cosa, okay? Usa soldador o aire. Usted toma la decisión. Vamos a ponerlo en su lugar. Oops, se voló aquí vamos a 
uh, ponerle you're going to apply little more little more flux flux also help you to so to hold the component in place and let me drop the air I have too much air all right Okay. That's one thing of the flux. The flux is, is going to help you to hold the components. It's, it's like an extra hand for me. That's how I, that's how I think. The flux me gusta porque también es como una mano extra te ayuda a aguantar el componente. Yo le digo que es como una mano extra, exactamente. Ya va a estar. Ya está listo. Perfect. Lo probamos. We tested and it doesn't move. So we are fine. Turn off the smoke absorbent. Just clean it. Vamos a limpiarlo. Right there. Perfect. And let's see if this turns on. We're gonna bring the customer screen it's right here and we are going to bring the okay So now we're just going to test if this phone is turning on. Ahora simplemente vamos a probar que el teléfono encienda. Okay. Seven plus right here. Change the voltage to this power supply. Okay, perfect. Now it's fine. Right there. Ahí pueden observar que el teléfono ya está encendiendo. You guys can see the phone is already turning on. So, let's wait a few seconds until it turns on completely. And then we're going to finish this video. Vamos a esperar hasta que termine de encender y vamos a terminar el video. Ok, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys learn something from this video if you like my video give me a like if not give me a comment don't forget to share and we all learn from each other ok gracias si les gustó mi video denme un like y si no denme un comentario no se olviden en compartir el video y todos aprendemos de todo ok thank you oh, let me see hold on yeah have to increase the is because I have to increase, yeah. Perfect. Now it's working perfect. Thank you.
Okay, I just added this because I th I see that when I put it on the power supply, it was um, it went off. So for you guys to make sure it's turning on, it's right here. Okay, para porque me estoy rehaciendo esto un momentito, añadiendo esto al video porque sé que se eh, apagó cuando estaba haciendo el video porque estaba en el power supply. Entonces ya ahora lo ensamblé y aquí está. Okay. It's right there, it's working. So, como pueden ver, está trabajando. So, that's it. That's the end. Thank you, guys. Ya es el final. Nos vemos.